Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Knights for Public. This is for the Act 3. Now, we managed to be able to uh, place the Photon Charges through uh, the four sides uh, of uh, of the ship uh, and managed to be able to uh, wipe out F Sith Troopers and uh, Dark Jedi along the way. But surprisingly, in a turn of a twist event, we found Colonel Tobin on there, but completely a different version of him. Since that, his facial expression shows of him joining the dark side, plus my foresight was able to confirm it. And during the process of the conversations that Tobin has revealed is that he's the reason how... How uh, this uh, Sith Lord, that is also faces his old master, was able to know about uh, Telos, but was given false information that there will be four, sens four sensitives there, that Jedi Academy there, which will be a lie, really, because as we, you already know from the past uh, couple of ep episodes, and especially the earlier ones, is that during the few times we spent there one time when we we're on first arrived on Telos and the recent time we're like now is that uh, Atrus's Academy has nothing but servants that's not force sensitives. So uh, really uh, Kreia must had lied to had lied to uh, to this uh, Sith Lord in order to be able to draw him out for reasons we'll confirm it as soon as we find him. But in the process we managed to be able to somehow persuaded Colonel Tobin that if he'd be able to help us, he'll be helping his homeworld on Ron. Because if this Sith Lord managed to be able to destroy Telos, it sucks the force and life from it. Uh, or any uh, life from it, it will be a problem for all the planets, not just Onderon, but the rest of the planets. Coming to realization of this, uh, Tobin decides to want to help us, uh, and uh, once that we finish off his uh, Sith Lord Master, which is faces his old master on the bridge, uh, he'll be able to uh, send out the charges and at bay the proton cores uh, to go off as soon as we're done at the bridge. You'll be given the signal about it, though Mandalore has suspicions that Tobin may not want to follow through the books. So right now we're moving forward to the bridge as we just got off the elevator. Let's do this. Big room coming up. Shields up. Force enlightenment. Burst speed. Force of Valor, Force of Beauty, Energy Resistance, Improved Battle Meditation. Let's go. Master Hume. Nothing in here. Just keep moving forward.
<laughs> now we have another Jedi helping us. Force channel. Force points to be regenerated and double the force power. That's for trying to get at me, bitch. Master Force Scream! I have a feeling we're almost there to the bridge. This door leads to the bridge, my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time. Thesis, you don't have to come with me. Okay then, let's do this together, Ephesus. Let us end this. So that's him up ahead, huh? Foresight? My god. Even his own war soldiers is surrounded, is filled with the dark side for points. And him up ahead? Hello, Sith Lord. We finally meet. What the hell? I can't move. You listen to me very carefully, and well, I know that you probably don't even give a damn if you probably uh, are losing a battle here, but here's something I'll make it clear now. Your ship is currently mined of photon cores. If you do not release me, I will send your house, your overgrown ship, to hell.
We have mined your ship. It will not survive this battle. I don't even understand what this fool bla damn thing is saying. Kreia has lied to you. I know about, Tobin told you about uh, having a Jedi Academy on Telos, but Kreia has lied to you. There are no Jedi here. You must have sensed it by now. If you use your power here, you will only exalt yourself and become invulnerable. Kreia knows this. That's why she lied to you just to draw you out here into the opening. You see? Even now, the hunger is consuming you just as Kreia knew it. She has betrayed you. And now I will finish you. Regeneration implant. A tower style. How you like that, you freak of nature? Too much of an appetite for you. Thesis, you need to stay with me. We can defeat him. Thesis, you're his link. You're his link to him. A force bond with him, just like Kreia is to me. To this place. Can you disrupt that link somehow? Just hold him in place, Vesus. You did it. He, I cannot hold him for long. You're finished, Darth Nihilus! Force to meet you, team! Energy resistance! Improve battle meditation! Force enlightenment! Burst speed! Force of valor!
It's done. He's defeated. Thesis? What are you doing? Wait, hold on. I think I understand what she's doing. She told me that back on the Up and Hog that when this, uh, when Darth Nihilus found her on Qatar, he showed her what he thinks he sees the galaxy about. But I showed her a different story about the galaxy. If she sees uh, what he through his vision, then maybe she'd be able to get some peace from this. Do it. Tell me what you saw. What did you see? I saw a graveyard world, surrounded by a fleet of dead ships. I felt it through him, as I feel it through you. You are my master now, and I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end. Then let this ship die, as it should have been many years ago at the Mandalorian Wars. What the? And now the hunger uh, that has this insatiable hunger for force is dead. Cease to exist like it's never there in the first place. Now there's only two uh, leaders of the Sith Lords uh, that leads the Sith, but they're not here at Telos. Let's go. Round enough this ship. That lasts the lifetime. We're going to be kind of close. This is going to be very big. Alright. Alright, this will have to do. I'm saving this game. Let's leave this Ravager for good. It is done. Now we need to return to the Evan Hawk. Admiral Anasi wanted to speak with you, sir. Is that a request or an order?
mutual acquaintance, I believe is how he put it. I see. Very well. Lead on. But it needs to be quick. I'm on a tight schedule. Car for Nasty. You don't owe me anything, sir. Lieutenant and Commander Grant said you wanted to speak to me about a mutual acquaintance. I've read your records, how the Jedi sentenced you, the way that you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? No, I have not seen him. I have not seen him since the Mandalorian Wars or heard uh, anything else of what he did at the end of the Jedi Civil War. I served with him like you did, and we had to part ways like you did. Do you know? But why would you? Why did you part ways? Do you know where he went? You cannot give up hope. He told me to stay here to try to keep the Republic strong, and that he would return. The hardest request I ever had to follow. He really said that, did he? T three M four said that he's been no looking no for Revan two. The woman in the hall and the hologram uh, give him an order. So you two been wanting to find out uh, any trace of Revan two. But why did Revan ask the, that order for you? I don't know, but it was important to him. He said that he believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars. That it hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Whatever it was, I think he went off to find it. To fight it. Just how do you know Revan? It was near the end of the Jedi Civil War when it seemed like we were going to lose everything. We met on a Republic warship called the Endar Spire. It was being attacked over Terrace. The Sith had stormed the ship. We saved the Republic, but it was like the war didn't end for him. He would keep remembering the things that he'd done, and it kept driving him. And I think he finally remembered something terrible that he'd done during the Mandalorian Wars, and he went to put an end to it. He left a lot of people who cared about it behind, but I think he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. But whatever he set out to do, I, I don't think he succeeded. And here you return with his ship, without him. The Ebon Hawk. Well, that's an amazing story, and it's all true. He served with a company of people he gathered on Terrace, Tatooine, Datooine, and on Kashyyyk with his friends and his droids, HK 47 and T3 M4. You, his woman Bastila, Mission the Twi'lek. And her companion, and her Wookiee companion Sabar, and two Jedi with him, Jolie Benno and Juhani, and Candor's Ordo. And you said Revan's ship. Yes, wherever he went, your ship's been there. If, if you return to that place, if you find some trace of Revan. And you want me to tell you what I find, don't you? I gave you my word that I will find him. For now, I must leave. Safe journey, exile. You too, Carvel Nasty. Bastla. Yes, there is. Now, we must go to Malcor 5, where Kreia waits. I thank you all for joining with me. But for now, I ask you to not follow me. If I, once we arrived, we cannot, 
You cannot come with me here to face Crab. This is my journey. This is my mission alone. This is something I must do. And I trust you need to trust me what I say about this. Oh my god. So there it is. Malcor 5. Look at all these destructions of down scavenged ships. Hold on. We're taking evasive action here. Shit. What's going on? I think we're going to crash. Shit, we are. Brace for impact! Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> Didn't even broke sweat. <sighs> That's her nature, I guess. That area. This is the memory vision that Chris showed me. It has been so that's the heart of the Mount Core 5. Jesus Christ, I cannot believe uh, we just wrecked my ship. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry, girl. It looks like I've somehow managed to a god here when when this ship's crashed. As I feared, I'm on my own. And I hope the others are okay. If I've been out there, then they must have somehow been scattered around this dam or rock space. Damn you, cry up. Okay, um, folks are going to need to put a stop here to the these folks, so this has gone spy. The spy sign off for now.